jungle friends, are you ready to draw something great? Today I want to show you how to draw some jungle plants so that when you draw all your wonderful pictures of animals and do the great art that you've been doing, you have somewhere to put them that they live. I'm going to show you how to draw some bushes and some grasses and my favorite thing, palm trees. And then that way you can put background in with your giraffes and your elephants, your jungle cats and all the fun paintings and pictures that you're drawing. Okay, so let's start off with jungle grass. It's probably the easiest thing to draw. All you do is draw tall, spiky triangles. We're just going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. Now watch this. I'm going to turn just a little bit. So they're not all going the same direction. Curve this way and that way. And I'll add a couple more over here. Okay, there you've got some jungle grass. Now, you don't have to do that across the entire paper. You can just do it in part. And then what you can add next to that is one of the other easiest things to draw, and that is bushes. It's just curved lines. Okay, so we're going to start down here. And I just call these bumpy lines. I'm just going to bump around like that right off the edge of your paper. Okay, and then you can come in from your paper and draw even bigger lines like this. When you're coloring in, you can color this a different green than this. I think green has more varieties than anything else that I see in nature. There's all types of green from light yellow green all the way to a really dark blue green. And when you draw jungle foliage, if you color every bush a different green, wow, your picture will be amazing. So I'm going to add a couple more bushes over here. I'm going to come right here off the side of my paper and draw some lines like that. Okay, now let's get in some palm trees. These are really fun and really easy to draw. We're going to draw some curved lines that go up like this. Notice that it's going to be bigger at the bottom and just a little bit smaller as I get to the top. There's one. Now let's make this one go the other way. Two. Okay, and then let's draw one over here. Three. Now this is kind of fun. If you've drawn a great animal right here and you can curve these palm trees around, it kind of frames your animal. Can't you just picture a jungle cat hiding in the grass or maybe an elephant standing by? Okay, for the tops of the palm trees, this is what I like to do. I draw a few curved lines like this. And Okay, so they don't look really great yet. But now we're going to add some texture. We're going to do close together straight lines coming off. This is the middle. Think of that as the middle of the leaf. And we'll just draw straight lines this way. And now straight lines this way. OK, see how that's kind of looking like a palm tree? Let's do this one on the bottom and on the top. One more. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of go fast here so you can see, but it's just straight lines. I know you can do it. Okay, just a few more to go. Down one way, down the other. This side and this side. One side. And the other. Okay, now we've got all of our palm fronds. What we can do is add some coconuts if you'd like. So you can add some circles right there underneath the palm fronds. You don't have to, but it's kind of it's kind of a fun thing to do in your picture. It gives you a little bit of interest and something different to draw. Okay, now the trunks are really great. And they're kind of fun. They've got lots of crisscrossing lines. Sometimes you can even do like a few X's like that. And sometimes you can just draw a couple curved lines this way and then this way. And then pop an X in there. And then a couple lines this way and this way. So they're really easy to add texture X and a couple curved lines like that. Okay, now the jungle is full and full and full of foliage and plants and more and more trees. So what you can do now that you've drawn that after you draw your animals, you can draw even more curved lines 
in the background because these bushes can go on forever right off the side of your page. And when you fill this all in, like we talked about with the different greens and all your colors, you are going to have a great jungle background for all the wonderful animals that you know how to draw. Great job today. Remember that you are a great artist. Keep drawing, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.